Queen Elizabeth II was very upset at the time of Lady Louise Windsor's birth, due to the worrying complications of the labor. Lady Louise, 16, is the daughter of the Queen's youngest son Prince Edward and his wife Sophie, Countess of Wessex. She is said to be the Queen's favorite granddaughter, because she relishes her time at Balmoral in the summer, and she also shares the 94-year-old monarch's love of horses. They even shared a special moment together when the Queen showed her some of Queen Victoria's old drawings. However, when the young royal first came into the world, not everything went smoothly. Her mother Sophie suffered an ectopic pregnancy and was rushed to Frimley Park Hospital in Surrey on November 8, 2003. Due to a placental eruption, both Sophie and Louise suffered severe blood loss. Sophie underwent an emergency cesarean section, performed by royal surgeon and gynecologist Marcus Setchell. Then the newborn Louise was whisked away and transferred to a specialist neonatal ward in St. George's Hospital in Tooting, London. Prince Edward was not able to be there to support Sophie, as he was on an official visit to Mauritius at the time. According to a 2004 article in The Telegraph, the Queen had been very upset through all of this. Sophie is believed to be the Queen's favorite daughter-in-law, as she had fairly tumultuous relationships with Sarah Ferguson, Princess Diana, and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall. After a couple of weeks however, Louise was able to go home with her family and her name was announced on November 27 as Louise Alice Elizabeth Mary Mountbatten Windsor. The name Elizabeth is clearly a touching tribute to her grandmother, while Mary is a nod to Sophie's mother Mary Reese Jones and Alice is named after Prince Philip's mother Princess Alice. The name Mountbatten Windsor would have greatly pleased the Duke of Edinburgh, who was reportedly devastated when it was decided his own children would not carry his name. Louise, who was born at a tiny four pounds nine ounces spent her first Christmas with the royal family at Sandringham, where the Queen reportedly spent a great deal of time fussing over her. Sophie, too, was delighted with her little bundle of joy. A source added, Sophie, has been spending as much quality time as possible with her daughter, and she is just thrilled at her progress. She is an absolutely adored baby dash and a real cutie pie. She looks like a perfect jolly little baby. Edward got stuck in too, taking some time off from official duties to spend with his family. Sophie, too, was delighted with her little bundle of joy. A source added, Sophie, has been spending as much quality time as possible with her daughter, and she is just thrilled at her progress. She is an absolutely adored baby dash and a real cutie pie. She looks like a perfect jolly little baby. Edward got stuck in too, taking some time off from official duties to spend with his family. Meanwhile, Louise and her brother James, Viscount Severn, 12, are staying home from school. It is believed secondary schools may come back from June 15. James, who was born in 2007, is said to be the Queen's second favorite grandchild.